The following video might contain small traces of adult content. Title Fallen Angel Working Title Tuk a Love Story Roger sits in a seat with his head buried in his hands sobbing and full of anxiety. She is dead and I killed her. D-E-A-D and I killed her. When he hears a voice in the distance. What, he mumbles, still not in the moment. Excuse me sir, would you like some champagne before takeoff? Just over six months earlier, he made a decision that would change his life forever. Roger is a 44-year-old Swede from a very small town named Mutala, he is very interested in gambling and football even if his favorite team has only won one Swedish championship since the start on 7 Mars 1897. He is working his childhood dream as a train driver, but he misses someone to share his passion for model trains and football. Two of his co-workers has married Thai women and they really promote the idea of having a Thai wife slash girlfriend. Roger feels that it's a bad idea to follow in their footsteps, but it's also a bad idea to continue his life as it is. A very old schoolmate and good friend of Roger named Nils moved to Thailand three months ago and try to persuade him to come to Thailand when they talk on Skype every week. One evening after having talked with his friend on Skype, and at the same time consuming more than a fair amount of absolute vodka, he goes to Thai Airways website. In less than 10 minutes he has booked a flight to Bangkok in mid-August. He sends a mail to his friend saying that he just booked a trip to see him in Thailand in 4 months. This will be Roger's first trip outside Europe. The day after he feels a bit hesitated about what he has done, usually he is a control person and wants to know everything about his travels and only travel on charter trips. He wants to tell his friend that he has second thoughts about the trip and would like to cancel it but he is too ashamed to tell Nils. Since he is a control person, he starts to collect information about Thailand and soon he finds two vloggers that talk a lot about Thailand and ladies from Thailand, an American in Bangkok and a lovely storyteller named Simon. Roger study hard to understand so much he can about Thai culture and especially Thai ladies. Roger and Nils starts planning the trip to Thailand. Nils tells Roger there are three places he has to visit on his three weeks in Thailand. Bangkok. Pattaya. Burram, where Nils live with his girlfriend. Many times, during these four months Roger wants to cancel his plans, but he also gets more and more interested of Thailand as he learns more. They finally agree that Nils will meet up with him at Savarnabhumi Airport at 6 a.m. when his airplane lands. Then they will go to Pattaya for one week and then Bangkok for another week and then finish it off in Burram for the last week of his stay in Thailand. The trip is coming closer and closer. Two weeks before he will go, his friend Nils tells him that he has to go on a business trip to Singapore and can only stay with Roger for two days in Pattaya, but he will be back so they can meet up in Bangkok as scheduled a couple of days later. Suddenly the day of departure comes up and Roger takes the train to Orlando Airport just outside of Stockholm. For the longest trip of his life. He drinks a Heineken beer, he has read on some Swedish Facebook forums about Thailand, and learnt that it's a must to have a beer before takeoff and publish a picture of the beer on Facebook, waiting for the gate to open. He has booked an economy ticket on Thai Airways, but he finds out that he has three seats all to himself. After 7 or 8 GT the staff says that the bar is closed and Roger falls to sleep willingly. When Roger wakes up it's 1 hour flying time before he lands in Bangkok at 5.50 am local time. He is very disorientated and feel a small but manageable hangover. When he gets off the plane, he doesn't know where to go. So, he tries to be clever and just follow two other Swedes, bad mistake. They went to another gate for traveling to Malaysia. Well after a while Roger finally gets to the immigration and passport check. There is a long queue there, but it only takes 30 minutes. Roger is now stressed out and have to visit the bathroom. Then he goes to the carousel to pick up his luggage. The carousel is empty and there is no one there, except for an airport official standing further away with his bag. She doesn't seem to be very happy, Welcome to the land of smiles. 
Customs just wave him through. On the other side he can see his friend Nils, what a relief. A big hug later they are on their way out of the airport, Nils stops by and buy a six pack of beer. When Roger gets outside, he feels the most heat and humidity he has ever felt, he was stunned for a brief moment. Nils had a taxi waiting for them some 100 meters away. The taxi couldn't fit Roger's bag in the back, due to a big tank of gas, so the driver puts it in front of the passenger seat. Click, piss, ah, a few deep gulps of beer and Roger feels a lot better. Roger and Nils uses the 90 minutes trip to Pattaya to catch up and drink beer and some whiskey that Roger bought at Arlanda. End of part 1